So in this example, what we have here is uh, 3t plus 1, or I'm sorry, the square root of 3t plus 1 is equal to the square root of t plus 5. Now in this case, ladies and gentlemen, you can see we have a square root on both sides. All right. Um, however, the main important thing is we have them isolated. So to simplify this problem, all I simply need to do again is undo the squaring by taking the square, or I'm sorry, undo the square root by squaring both sides. And again, when you square the square roots, those are going to um, divide out each other, Macy. So therefore, we have 3t plus 1 is equal to t plus 15. All right. Now, by undoing the square root, by, take, by squaring them, now we have an equation without any square roots, right? Which hopefully this is something you guys are much more familiar with, which you'd prefer to solve with. So I subtract 1, subtract 1. 2t equals 14. Divide by 2, divide by 2. t equals 7. Then again, please make sure, guys, we always go back and plug in our answer. If I plug in a 7, 3 times 7 is 22. Plus 1, oh, I'm sorry, 3 times 7 is 21. Plus 1 is square root of 22. Over here, 7 plus 15 is square root of 22. So we have square root of 22 equals square root of 22. It checks out. That works. Please make sure you guys check your answer because the problems that I'm going to give you, you are going to have one that's not going to be a solution. It's not going to work when you check it, when you go back and check the answer. So